we bought this farm in 1998 and it was a working dairy farm and we were able to certify it organic starting in 2000. And one of the ways that we've chosen to farm is by being a forage-based farm. All the, the feed that our cows eat is from um, within shouting distance of, of us right now. Come on, come boss, come boss, come here. Come on. Genetically modified organisms um, have been used in, in many of the crops which are typically fed to dairy cows, and uh, organic farms are not allowed to feed them. By buying certified organic food, you know that there have been no GMOs used in any part of the production or the manufacture or the processing of that food. Corn and soybeans were the first genetically modified crops, but now grasses and clovers are also being genetically modified. The responsibility so far for not having any cross-contamination or cross-pollination of organic crops has been very much in the realm of the organic farmer by making sure that we plant things in a way that there is little chance of pollination cross-drift happening by maintaining buffer zones so that there's not the ability for pollen to drift. So if you're looking to avoid GMOs in your diet, the best thing you can do is to buy certified organic Farmers and consumers who are willing to say this is really what we want are going to make a huge impact on the way our food is produced in this country in a very positive way if we just keep speaking up and saying what we want and putting our dollars behind what we value.